Hello and welcome to Paper Plays, Julie Kay. Thanks so much for stopping by and today I have a few little embellishment boxes to share with you guys that are Christmas themed. One of them is a shabby chic style and the other two are more of a vintage or traditional type theme. And if you guys are interested, make sure you um, leave a comment below. I am going to be creating one more box like this in the shabby chic style. And I will record it as I'm decorating it. If you guys are interested in watching my process, I can show you guys that. But make sure you leave that below in the comment section. Um, just because if I don't hear back from that, if anyone's not interested, it does take time to edit videos. And I won't do it if um, there isn't an interest for that right now. And so on these, I did start off with those little Dollar Tree boxes. I was able to find some. I had a really hard time finding them. And I went to like four or five different Dollar Trees. But I did find some. And so I picked some up. And I did create one of these for a swap um, that I'm in. And then a couple of the other ones are for some happy mail that I'm sending out. And let's see, this first one, the shabby chic one, I used some paper from Kaiser Craft. It was from the Silver Bells collection. It's one of my favorite paper collections. I, they don't make it anymore, I believe. And so I've been hoarding my pieces, but I did use a couple of my pieces for this box. And I went ahead and I attached them. And then after that, I just started decorating. And you can see on the sides, I have this gorgeous little lace trim. You can pick this kind of trim up at Hobby Lobby. And then this beautiful little trim right here, um, I picked up in a D-stash from Lisa, who's Charlisa's Crafty Corner here on YouTube. And then I went ahead and added the little pink bling to each of the little flower pieces out that were on there. But I just love how that turned out on the sides. It's so shabby. And it kind of matched the paper collection quite well. And then on top of it, I added some pearl um, bling right here. And I think this was from a Prima collection that I had. And then I went ahead and layered a ton of different flowers, but my base is actually a Dollar Tree snowflake. And usually I have to say I'm not a huge fan of Dollar Tree stuff because it does to me kind of look like it's a little bit on the cheaper side, but I don't mind the little snowflakes as a layering piece, I guess. So I did go ahead and use that as kind of my base piece. And then on top of that, like I said, I layered a ton of different flowers. They're all from Craft Supplies for You. Um, and on the pink flowers here, I did add some glass glitter to those. And then on the sides, I had these little pieces right here. I think they were part of some sort of ornament or door chime or wind chime type thing that I took apart a long time ago, but I thought they kind of looked like snowflakes and I just felt like they matched. So I added three of those and then I also die cut this little Christmas greetings to you from the paper collection and added it right there just because I wanted to make sure that I had some sort of little sentiment. And then I le left the rest of it kind of plain other than of course the the braid trim that I read it, that I glued around the edges just because I wanted the beautiful paper to show. So I did leave that. And then on the inside, I haven't fully um, stocked it yet on the inside, but I did go ahead and decorate the inside so that when you open it up, you didn't see the back side of the paper. And I did attach this and my original intention was to be able to stick some stuff here. But since I'm filling this quite full, I found that if I stuck anything in here, it kind of bent. So I'm just going to leave that um, up there for now. But um, it does look pretty when you open it up. And then here's some of the items I stuck in here. Like I said, I haven't finished it yet, but I just added a couple little things. So if you're curious as to what I put in here, and I think I'm going to add some trim right there. I just haven't cut it yet. So those are the little embellishments I included in that one. The next one that I have to share with you guys is kind of more of a vintage um, or traditional type theme. And this one, I think that the paper I used was some really old graphic 45 paper, but I'm not 100% sure. I, the top, it was just a remnant, so I don't, I'm not quite sure, but I have a ton of different vintage papers in my stash. And so again, I started off the same way, just added the paper, I added the trim around the side, and this beautiful cream trim right here came from Sandy, who's Decorate Your Life. Um, I won a little prize package from her channel a while back, and she had included that in there. 
And so thanks Sandy for that. It just really added the to the look of this embellishment box. And then I went ahead and added some of this green braid trim just because I felt like it matched up here. And then on the edges, I did go ahead with some flat back pearl trim that I got from Craft Supply for you. And again, I layered a bunch of flowers in the corner and a lot of them are Craft Supply for you. A couple of them might be Wild Orchid Crafts also. And then I added some more of the little flower or flat back pearl sprays. Again, I think those ones either came from Hobby Lobby or this one might have been the Primo one that I use. I did add the word Mary right there and I did paint these with some acrylic paint. And then I also had a wood frame here that I painted with acrylic paint. And I had a beautiful little image of Santa Claus. I did add some Wink Estella to him just to make him shine a little bit. I don't know if that's going to show up on the camera. And then I did outline the frame with some flat back pearls and I added some pearls up to the frame. And again, I just love how that one turned out. And then this one, I do, did stick a few goodies in this one also, if you're curious. Um, I did decorate the inside. And again, when I was making them, my intention was to stick some goodies here. But they do kind of bend when you close it. So I'm not sure if I will. I'll probably just end up leaving it empty. But I did fill it with, some. this is some trim. Here's some little flowers. Here's some really pretty Maya Road flowers that I've had in my stash for a while. Some clothes pins. Here's some cute little deer. Some stickles. Here's some different paper ephemera. Some more trims in Christmas colors. And then I have some, some Christmas brads in this little pocket right here. And so that one is full of goodies. Then here is the last Christmas embellishment box I want to share with you guys today. And this one I used some beautiful trim that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and it looks like I actually closed some of the trim inside of it. So let me get that out here. So this one I just hung some of this beautiful trim from Hobby Lobby. I added some braid trim around the side and also the top just to finish it off. Again, I decorated it with some paper and this one is also from a Kaiser Craft collection. And let's see what else. I added this little applique in the corner which is craft supply for you and I added the little gold flat back piece there. I did have a wood frame and behind it I added the little sentiment that says it is Christmas in the heart that puts Christmas in the air. And again, I layered a bunch of flowers around the edges. They are, again, craft supply for you and wild orchid crafts. I do have some little bead sprays up here. And then I went ahead and added this little heart frame that I put an image of Santa Claus and a child inside of it. And then right here on the edge, I added the word jolly to it. And this one I haven't really fully filled yet. I'm just starting to get my Christmas stuff out and going doing some shopping to fill these. But I added some stickles. I had this little Santa Claus key, which I thought was kind of cute. And then this little charm that I picked up recently at Hobby Lobby that says Merry Christmas. So I added that too, and yet I still have more things to put in there. But um, I just wanted to share my little embellishment boxes that I've made so far this year. Thanks again so much everybody for watching today and if you are interested in seeing my process on how I put together one of these embellishment box, specifically just the decorating, not necessarily what I put inside of them but more the decorating, I will be making another shab shabby chic embellishment box um, very similar to this one. So make sure you do leave that below in the comments otherwise I do hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Happy crafting and take care.